Welcome to another SoloWax video by NCCS, your SoloWax provider. In today's video, we are going to take a look at setting a subassembly as a flexible subassembly. Now, let's first talk about what occurs when we bring in a subassembly into a main assembly. Let's take this um, engine component as an example. We've got a crankshaft. We've also got another subassembly, which consists of uh, the piston itself and the rod. So when we bring in a subassembly into a main assembly, they are brought in as a rigid component by default. Okay, so we, as we can see, I can try to rotate the crank, but that will not move uh, the piston subassembly. And all I've done in this uh, with this subassembly is put in a concentric mate, have done a width mate, and I've aligned the planes of the piston to the plane of um, the crank so that the piston uh, can move up and down as the crank rotates. However, because they're brought in as a rigid component, this uh, motion is restricted. We can see here, the motion is allowed in subassembly. Uh, when a subassembly is set as rigid, uh, it means that the subassembly can move as a group themselves, but the movements between individual components are restricted. So this is when a uh, flexible subassembly comes in. So by setting your subassembly as flexible, we can retain the degrees of freedom the subassembly has in the main assembly. So we can do this by clicking onto this icon there, makes subassembly flexible, or we can go into the component properties from right clicking our subassembly and selecting that as flexible. Now, as we rotate the crank, we can see that the piston is allowed to move. Uh, and because of our mates, uh, the piston is just moving vertically up in the Y direction. So I'll just go ahead and unsuppress the other um, piston stuff generated from using copy with mates. We can see all of them behave the same way. The movements uh, that we're seeing here are governed by the mates applied in both the subassembly level and the main assembly level. Okay. So as the user moves the components, these mates are being calculated in the background simultaneously. Therefore, some users may experience a decrease in performance from this setting. So as a rule of thumb, only use a flexible subassembly uh, when it's required. Otherwise, maybe try to use uh, configurations to show uh, a different orientation of your model rather than having it allowed to rotate all the time. We would also like to congratulate our customer NX products. They produce uh, smartphone accessories. So they started off uh, creating smartphone cases that doubles as a bottle opener. Then they went on and created a smartphone mounting system that supports active lifestyles. They start off as a Kickstarter uh, program and they have since then started to use SolarWorks to stay up to date with the new smartphone designs, allowing them to quickly respond to the new models um, and to be one of the first uh, to offer accessories for new smartphones. Further details uh, can be seen in our website. I'll place a link in the description below. So take a look. It's quite a fascinating uh, story uh, in how they um, develop these products with the use of SolarWorks. 
Make sure you come to our SolarWorks 2018 launch in no 3D. I'll place a link down below, register for your spot, and uh, we look forward to seeing you then. Thank you for watching another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider.